Um, I'm Natalie Reynolds, I'm course leader for PG English and I started here about 18 months ago. Okay, so Lecture Capture was first introduced to me um, as a student on the PG Cert course at Edge Hill. Um, we had a demo on our, on our course and I watched it and I thought this is something that I would really like to be using in my sessions with my trainees. I hadn't heard about Lecture Capture until that session. So I investigated it a bit more and um, spent some time with Howard over in Learning Services and we, we set up a lecture capture session and it worked really well. Well, I'll, I'll start from a, a lecturer's perspective first of all. Um, when you mention lecture capture or recording sessions, the majority of colleagues that I'd talked to about it um, were bristling. Whoa, if we do that, then we're not going to have any attendance in these sessions. They'll just access it online. What's the point in that? And there was a part of me that, that did feel that. However, with investigation and particularly for my project that I was doing, um, the research that I'd done and the findings coming through were, if your sessions are strong enough, if you're giving your students um, a lively, innovative learning experience, they're going to be coming to your sessions. I'm still quite new to this. Um, and I, I love working with technology. You know, it's something that I'm really interested in and something that I bring into my sessions. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to add footage into that session that we'd originally recorded is because I wanted the trainees to be able to, to do more with it. And I wanted to be able to do more with it. Um, and I, I think over time, as I use it on a more regular basis, and obviously you pick and choose which sessions you'll use it for. Um, it's not appropriate to use it for every single session, but those key delivery points, um, high fact content, um, people, are, if, if they're making lots of notes, they won't always remember everything that you are saying, even though it's on a PowerPoint slide, even though they may have access to um, the slide before the session. High fact sessions, it really does work. And the trainees valued that in, in their feedback as well. Every person who teaches cares about what they teach and who they teach. And you want to make sure that you're getting all of that information through to them in in the best way in the most comfortable way and sitting down for two to three hours isn't always the best way to retain high fact content so lecture capture and I'm, I'm look you know I'm looking at the picture over there lecture capture enabled I love that um, and that's what I put on my on my slide at the end of our session because we were enabled and I really do feel because of lecture capture that we were able to have a higher quality of learning taking place.